when we pull up brr, brr, all angle. Yeah, you're looking at the truth, the money never lies. What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotic, bringing you our week eight battle of the Bandless Battlers League. Today we're facing off against Quinn, coach of the Toronto Togekiss, another fellow Canadian, another fellow basketball fan. Unfortunately, though, he's a Raptors fan, so oof, kind of hurts to be him. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Um, obviously, the Raptors are the hometown Canadian team. Even though I'm not a Raptors fan, I still kind of root for them sometimes. But uh, yeah, so Quinn is actually sitting at 5-2. and two. He's got one of the best records in the league. We're sitting down here at 3-4, and four, so we are kind of behind the eight ball, I guess. We're two wins behind him. But uh, I believe that's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem though because if he ends up winning this game, our playoff chances drop drastically. There are, I believe, after this three or four weeks left in the season, week 9, 10, 11, yeah, four weeks, week 9, 10, 11, 12, and we might just have to win out or go 3-1 and one if we end up losing this game. Versus if we win this game, 2-2 two and two should suffice to make us into the playoffs, which uh, honestly is my goal here because we didn't start off that hot this season. Now, last week we are coming off, sadly, a pretty bad loss by the hands of uh, Mike, and uh, I do want to kind of come at this match a little bit differently and prep not only to win, but to win kind of big. And uh, I decided to do that because I have a couple of really good threats against his team. So to start off, I'll just kind of go over a bit of what I brought, but uh, before I do that, actually, I'll go over my opponent's team and my team, let you know what I think he might be bringing. So my opponent actually had the first overall pick in the draft, and he drafted Mewtwo with his first pick, which just... It's, oh god, it's Mewtwo. It's got 130 speed, it's got ridiculous special attacks, it's got a ridiculous attack, it gets coverage out the ass, it's crazy. So he has Mewtwo, Clefable, Protean Greninja with Z-Moves, he's got Como, Nidoqueen, Rotomo, also with Z-Moves, Darmanitan, Mega Aerodactyl, which is a pretty big threat, Registeel, Dusclops, and z Abomasnow. And z Abomasnow, I mean, it's an Abomasnow, it's got terrible defensive typing, but its stab is actually pretty good against my team, so I gotta be careful for that thing. Anyways, my team is Speed Boost, Blazing Moves, Moves, Arceus Bug, Manaphy, Thunder, Asterion, Alolan Ninetales, Bronzong, Drapion, Quagsire, Alolan Executor with Zemus, Alolan Sandslash with Zemus, and Mega Altaria. Now, let's get into what I actually brought. So to start off, I have my uh, Blaziken here, Chicken Run, which is Fiery MD this week. Um, I have tons of speed. I know he's going to be, I know there's a chance he's Scarf uh, Greninja and Scarf Mewtwo, and because of that, I really want to have enough speed to deal with that at plus three, because at plus two, Scarf Mewtwo actually outspeeds me. So I believe I have enough speed for Scarf Greninja when I'm at plus two. We have a Flare Blitz, Swords Dance, High Jump Kick, and Earthquake. This coverage beats everything on his team. Um, the only thing that really could take a hit from this thing if we're at plus two is the Coma O if he's defensive. Needle Queen, maybe, but it's unlikely unless he's very defensive. And the Clefable if he's obviously unaware, because then Z, uh, Z Flare Blitz just demolishes that thing. We then have our uh, Spanic here, Thunder Starion. It is a nasty plot set with uh, Thunder and Psychic, of course. We have uh, a Moss Nature, which allows us to always 2 a KO Ready Steel at plus 2 with the Psychic, or not Psychic, with the Thunderbolt. So it's very useful to have. It actually is the best coverage against this team. So, yeah. And then we have our Manaphy here, which is Scrappy, of course. Um, we are running Surf and Tail Glow with dual screens and Light Clay. Now, obviously, it's kind of a weird set, especially because I have the Alola Nine Tails, but this set will allow me to pressure something like the Darmanitan. It's one less Pokemon that's uh, going to be just plowing through because Darmanitan is such a threat against my team. It also allows me to uh, potentially just Tail Glow up and go for a game if something's weakened like the Registeel. And if I can set up on the Registeel, then uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, Manaphy is there just for that. We then have Shelmet 2.0, our Arceus Bug, Insect Plate, of course. We have Thunder Wave, Stealth Rock, Ice Beam, and Recover. The reason I have Ice Beam over any other attacking move is because it does the most to my opponent's team. Yeah, Darmanitan resists it. Yeah, Greninja resists it. But my goal is to paralyze those two first and then let other things beat them down. And Arceus is just there to be defensive. It's one of the best answers I have to Greninja. Like a Z Rock, uh, a Z Rock Slide from an Admin Greninja does like less than... Sorry, a Z Rock Slide from Admin Greninja into a Rock Slide I believe doesn't even KO us, which is kind of crazy. So I can just recover off all the health and if I think he's going for the Z Rock Slide, I click Recover right away, and I'll be able to gain back a ton of HP. Um, but yeah, the plan is basically this is my lead. I want to be able to just Thunder Wave whatever comes in first, uh, unless it's the Rotom, of course, that you see he brought. But uh, yeah, it's just a really good lead on my part, so I really want to go with it. Rocks are going to be very important in this game to wear down stuff like that. Um, Mewtwo and the Greninja, and of course, the Darmanitan and the Bomb of Snow, it's super effective against. We then have my Mewtwo answer, which is my max special defense, max HP Drapion here with the Black Sludge. Careful nature, we have Whirlwind, Knockoff, Pursuit, and Poison Out. The only reason I'm not Assault Vest is because I need to have Whirlwind for the Clefable, just in case it's a Calm Mind Clef. And uh, I really want to run more attack on this thing so I could 2 kill the Calm Mind Clef, but I can't afford it because Mewtwo is such an, a ginormous threat. This thing pretty much has to run Earthquake, and it's not doing that much to me if he's not... Uh, if he's not naive or something, or if he's not adamant or even jolly, and uh, he's not having a life orb because, I mean, this thing is so strong. But uh, yeah, that's our fifth Pokemon, and our final Pokemon is Ploofy the Mega Altaria, holding the Altaria Knight, of course. We are pretty much max 
HP with a decent amount of defense, but we got a lot of speed too. I can't remember what the speed is for exactly. Um, actually, I do remember what it's for, and it's actually wasted now because I was originally I was originally running Dragon Dance on this set because at plus two I was going to be able to do a ton of damage to everything with uh, Body Slam and Earthquake, of course, and I didn't run Return because this was supposed to be on Wi-Fi, and I went Body Slam instead because I wanted the chance to paralyze. Paralyzing my opponent was really important this week, but uh, yeah, this is my primary answer to Darmanitan and Como, but uh, obviously it's not meant to be because Como didn't come. Uh, and Darmanitan is just such a big threat either way. But yeah, so he has Body Slam, Roost, Earthquake, and uh, not Dragon Dance, but Tailwind this week. And Tailwind allows my Blaziken to get to plus two really quickly, just in case he is Scarf, to outspeed the Mewtwo after uh, one turn in Tailwind. So let's say I set up a Tailwind, and then I die to the Rotom or something, or the Darmanitan. I send in my Blaziken, I kill the Darmanitan, I'm at plus one, then I can just start wrecking things. So yeah, guys, that's my team this week. Uh, let me know who you think will be the most valuable Pokemon for us this week. Now I'm going to get right into it because my laptop is only at 7%. So, I'm going to lead off here with my Arceus. I said it's my best lead, and it really is. And he leads off with his Greninja. I'm just going to click Rocks, turn 1. I want to start chipping everything in, everything down. And he actually goes into his Registeel. That forced me out into my um, Thunderous. Now, the reason I went Thunderous instead of something like my Drapion, I was predicting either the Toxic or the Thunder Wave. One of the two, maybe the Rocks, but Thunderous was my best play here because um, I would, one, be immune to the Thunder Wave, and two, the Rocks would, like, I don't know, it would, be, it would be less damage because I would be getting it before the rocks came up. But at the same time, um, I'm okay with getting Toxic because this is meant to be a Pokemon that just breaks early game. And that's exactly what it's going to try and do. So I'm going to click the Nasty Plot right here. As I'm thinking he's going to switch out maybe because he might be fearing the Focus Blast. But he stays in, sets up his rocks, and that's cool with me. And he's now going to go into his Rotom. I unfortunately don't predict that and just click the Psychic here. And uh, that's going to do very little to the Rotom here. And it actually shows me he's pretty much max HP. I think he's max HP, max defense. I could be wrong or something like that. But I'm going to go for the Psychic now as he pulls a double back into the Registeel, letting the Toxic damage rack up more, which is a really good play. And now, unfortunately, my uh, Thunderbolt won't be able to take out this thing because it is pretty much especially defensive, at least at 9%. Seismic House comes out, it does a ton of damage to us, and we're going to die next turn to the Poison, unfortunately. I go for the Psychic here just in case he wants to switch out, but I mean, what can you do? We actually take out that thing, and uh, down goes Spanic turn 7. But I go with my Manaphy here because I didn't think he was going to go into his Rotom. I expected actually the uh, the Darmanitan, maybe even the Mewtwo here, but didn't come out. So instead, I'm going to just go for the Light Screen here as he goes for the Volt Switch, and uh, then I will be able to go for uh, whatever I need to do. And he goes into his Obama Snow here, which is, that's okay. I can now go freely into my uh, Arceus. I want to scout to see if he has uh, the Leaf Seed, maybe the Hindar Fire, whatever it may be. But he goes for the Seed Bomb there, and that's a resisted hit that did 14%. So, uh, yeah, it's a ton of damage. Anyways, he's going to switch out now into his, um, what's this thing called? The Rotom. And I'm going to just recover back some health. I need the HP back just in case. And um, he takes some damage from the rocks. And I can now fire off the Ice Beam to take out this thing. But uh, sadly, he's actually going to outspeed me here and go for the Defog. So I don't know how he outsped. I didn't expect that to happen. But I KO with the Ice Beam. That's okay because now rocks are off of his side, off my side of the field, I should say, for good this match. That's really important. I'm not going to switch out into my Altaria as he brings in the Darmanitan. He's going to go for the U-turn. I'm okay with that. I just need to make sure I keep my, keep my Arceus alive. And now goes into his Greninja. But I can switch right back out into my Arceus. Especially that Rockstar out of the field now. I can take any hit he wants to go for. And you see Ice Beam does 26%. That's nothing. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave right here. Predicting the incoming Darmanitan. And we get that right. I can switch out now into my Altaria. As he's actually going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Now the Will-O-Wisp kind of sucks because it really lowers the damage we're going to be doing with my Altaria. But I can still paralyze with the Body Slam. So that's exactly what I'm going to go for here. I Mega Evolve, go for that Body Slam, and uh, unfortunately we don't get the Paralysis here. And I'm going to switch out now into my Drapion because it is my answer to Mewtwo. And since he has the Leftovers, I think he's actually going to be the Calm Mind set or even a subset. So I decided to switch out my Darman, my Drapion as he goes back into his Darmanitan, gets paralyzed, probably on the U-turn, which is okay with me. I go with the Earthquake, do a clean 40-ish percent to him as he goes to the U-turn and lets the burn damage chip up, and finally goes into his Obama Snow. Now the hail is kind of getting annoying because it is chipping down my Pokemon pretty quickly and with the burn damage it is racking up. But I can go into my Arceus here as he fires off the Ice Punch which does 26% to a defensive Arceus. Now I'm not saying anything about this right now but this is doing a lot of damage. Ice Punch comes out again as I recover and I'm going to go for the T-Wave here I believe. No? What do I do? Ice Beam? Recover actually. I recover up get back some more health and uh... I'm now going to switch out into, again, my Altaria because this thing is a great wall to it. And he gets paralyzed, of course. Paralyzes, that's why I want to run T-Wave because I needed to get this thing paralyzed and just get a free Roost up on it as he now goes for the U-turn one more time. And uh, you know what? That's not bad because he brings in his Alolan. No, it's Alolan. Why am I saying Alolan? He's bringing in his Greninja and I have to switch out back into my Blaziken here 
as uh, he's going to go, I believe, for the Sub-Zero Slammer right now. And uh, it's pretty big that he, I actually had enough health because that does a decent chunk of damage being Protein, of course. 51% is not bad at all. He's now going for the Dark Pulse, and he has to get the flinges here or else he pretty much loses the game. So I recover up some health, and now I have one of two choices. I can go for the Thunder Wave here or the Stealth Rock. And now that I got the recover off, I didn't think, I didn't think that he was going to go into his Darmanitan here. I really didn't expect it at all. So because of that, I decided to go for Rocks right now as he's actually going to stay in and uh, go for the Dark Pulse here as I got my Rocks. And now I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to go for the T-Wave here, paralyze this thing, and I pretty much win the game. I'm just going to recover off on everything and be able to just demolish everything that comes in. So I'm going to recover here. He goes to the Dark Pulse and he flinches me, which is so unfortunate because now my RCS has to just recover up on the Obama Snow. And uh, yeah, but I have to sack off my Altaria now as he crits me, which didn't really matter at all. And uh, I have to bring in my Manaphy now and hopefully I can get up screens. So I set up the light screen here, I believe. And um, it's, just, it's so unfortunate. So I go for the light screen here and um, as Hail comes down, I'm just gonna go for the Surf here as I believe he sends in the, or go for the Reflect actually, because I want to be able to set up my Blaze Gun for game here. So um, he's actually going to go into his Mewtwo here and he's gonna set up a Calm Mind as I go for the Surf. I did not expect him to go for the Calm Mind there. I really expected the sub more than anything, but uh, he loses 26%, which is enough for me to be able to take out that thing with, uh, take out its recover, not its recover, its substitute, there we go. But I go for the tail glow here on his recover, and I'm now going to fire off a surf, as he actually goes to plus two, plus two, which is very, very scary, and uh, surf comes out, does over half, which is nice, and uh, he now has to attack me because, yeah, he's gonna die to the next tail, next tail glow boosted surf. Anyways, I'm at plus three, three turns left for light screen and reflect. So I go for the knockoff here as he goes for the flamethrower on my Drapion and down goes the Mewtwo. I kind of minimize the damage it did, minimize the damage it did, but uh, either way, it's still doing a chunk. Anyways, he sends in his Obama Stone here and I don't know what he's going to do, but I do know I want to make sure that I can send in my Blaziken for free with a boost in speed. So what I decided to do here is I actually decided to Whirlwind here and he's going to go for the Ice Shard. Now, what I think he's trying to do by going with the ice shard there and kind of sacking off his Obama Snow, is he wants to limit the amount of entries that my, or chances that my Blaziken has to get to plus one, because now I know that he's not Scarf uh, Greninja, we have speed at plus one, meaning that I can just go for game with high jump kick, and he needs to get five hits actually with his, um, with his water shuriken to be able to Oko me from full. So I want to make sure that I can just get my Blaziken in. That's why I decided to keep the Obama Snow alive for one more turn. So in comes the Darmanitan. I'm just going to click the knockoff here, I believe. And I see goes for Flare Boots, and that does not enough to kill me, which is nice, and the knockoff will then destroy the Darmanitan. Getting rid of his Choice Scarf, of course, that's good information for the future, just in case we do end up meeting in the playoffs. And uh, then he'll send in his Obama Snow, and at this point, I'm just going to sack off my Arceus. Um, I decided to do that mostly because, I mean, I don't really need it anymore, I can't really recover up on it that much, but I actually lived a hit, surprisingly, and, down, and I go down to Hail, which I didn't even realize during the game. Anyways, here comes the Blaziken. I'm going to pause right here. Um, I'm going to go for the Earthquake right now. It's a guaranteed kill on the Obama Snow and then we just win with high jump kick. So Earthquake comes out, beats the Obama Snow, and then here comes the um, uh, Greninja. We outspeed, obviously, he has Water Shuriken, I know it, he has to have it. High jump kick, always Oko's from this range, and he gets the Water Shuriken, he goes one hit, two hits, and that's it. I go for high jump kick, and I missed. And bring us down to enough percent so that whatever happens, we lose the game. So, yeah. Um, that's a 2-0 win that turns into a 1-0 loss, potentially even more because of the flinch on the, uh, on the what is it called, uh, Arceus. But Greninja got a ton of kills as match form. Um, I'm, I'm pretty salty about it uh, because that really hurts. I, like, we have two 1-0 losses that, in my opinion, should be 2-0 wins. And, of course, we do have that 3-0 win against Blue that should have been a 4-0 loss. But, I mean, look. It happens, it really sucks. Um, I, I, am, I am disappointed that we did lose because this was a really important game to try and make playoffs, but we just have to beat everyone left. And that's, look, GG to my opponent. He, uh, he played really well, he prepped well, even though he prepped pretty quickly. I, I think I definitely played very well. But one thing that I did not say, he was a banded Obama Snow, and I should have calc that the second he used the C-Bomb for the first time on my Arceus. I should have calc that because it would have made this game so much easier. I could have come in on the C-Bomb on his, um, on his Obama Snow and just destroy his entire team because nothing, and I mean nothing, wanted to take hits from my uh, Blaziken. So if I if I just sacked off something to um, like an Ice Punch or anything, a C-Bomb, whatever, I could have gone to my Blaziken and just proceed to go for a game. And that's just an oversight on my part. And uh, honestly, I don't, I'm not gonna say I deserve to lose that game, but I, I think I definitely had a better win con in place and I didn't execute it as much. 
Anyways, guys, that is it for me. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, let me know why, guys. I would love to have you all join the ocean. And uh, yeah, guys, we also have a Discord server linked in the description below. So you should check that out as well as my Twitter and all of the coaches in the BBL. So guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time.